Talk a little bit about data in the asset management business. And you know, also talk a little bit about your ability to use it. So there's three things. I think, I think from the investment standpoint, the more data you have and the better data you have in terms of making an investment decision, the more you're going to be able to try to handle macro data, mm-hmm. micro data, and be able to make an investment decision. And one easy way to think about it is prepayment model in mortgages. Right. So we all used to estimate prepayment based on econometric model, right. rates go down, mortgage prepay, and so on and so forth. We now have loan by loan data on essentially 5 million mortgages in the US. Mm -hmm. And so instead of having parametric model in terms of prepayments, you have have machine learning learning models, which update themselves incredibly fast in terms of what happened out there. Mm -hmm. Now, some of the things won't work, but a lot of them will work. Mm -hmm. And the ability to structure data, acquire them, and then use them as a complement to investment decision in a good way, is incredibly powerful, and that's what we're doing. We made a partnership with Caltech mm-hmm. in machine learning for this exact reason. We're going to make other partnerships with other universities to try to work on other things, but it's really, it's really important. The second thing is data tells you about your competitors mm-hmm. and about what you're good at and what you're not good at. And I think people don't spend enough time being introspective about what the edge is or not and what they're good at versus other people. And I think you need to be very clear on this. So that's the second use of data. And the third one is how you touch your clients. Yeah. And, and that's the same thing you have with yeah. many of your businesses. And, and it's, you know, it's a real revolution in terms of what you can do, the digital solution for a private client, how we can touch people who bought an income suite of product and all these things. I would say when you look at a headcount, I would say a quarter of the people are in tech one way or the other. Mm-hmm when you add consultant and full-time people. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's a lot, and, and we're spending a very significant amount of, of money, just like you, yeah. on, on technology. Yeah. Yeah. And it's nev- it feels like it's never enough.